Thank you for staying tuned, everyone. And for our second program, I will be sharing what I purchased from Otakon, an annual celebration of Japanese pop culture, anime, manga, movies, video games, and much more at the Walter E. Johnson Convention Center, which is located in Washington, D.C., near the Capitol. It's pretty much the largest anime convention on the East Coast that attracts many fans, including the Vietnamese youth. This year, the convention boasted 30,000 attendees, and one of its biggest attractions is most definitely the dealer's room, where vendors sell thousands of merchandise to Avent fans like me. Hi everyone, it's Aria here, and today I've got a whole bunch of things that I purchased from a three-day convention called Otakon. And this convention is usually held at Washington DC, but before Washington DC, it was actually held in Baltimore. And I've been going to this convention since I was 16 years old. So nine years already. It's a lot of fun and I'm always coming back with a whole bunch of things, even though I'm pretty much emptying out my purse. It's very much worth it. I always look forward to it annually and let's just get started. So the first thing I want to share is one of the prints that I purchased from the Artist Alley. And this one is of Kimetsu no Yaiba, the characters. And we've got Tanjiro, we've got Nezuko, we've got Zenitsu over there who's sleeping, and we've got Inosuke. And I love that they popped out from the background, which is pretty much the water style of Tanjiro, so I love that. And these prints are pretty standard. They're the 20 by 11 ones, I believe. And usually if you buy one, it's $20. You buy two, it's $40, but you can get a third one free. So this is usually pretty standard um, in terms of the deal for each one of the artist booths. And some other things that I've purchased that are Kimetsu no Yaiba related are these cute keychains. So this first one is of Tanjiro and on the other side you can see that he's carrying Nezuko who's sleeping so cute so peacefully behind him. And the second one that I have is of Zenitsu where he's looking so sad on one side and sleeping on the other side with his cute birdie Chuntaro <laughs> carrying him, dragging him away, or probably dragging him away to uh, do his duties as a demon slayer. And the next one I have is of Inosuke, and he's also kind of being dragged away by his crow. I love that everybody has a crow except um, <laughs> Zenitsu, who's got his little chuntao. And on one side, you know, he just looks normal, and on the other side, uh, he's sweating. And the last keychain that I purchased is of Philo from Shield Hero in her bird form, which I think is the cutest form. And on the other side is Melty, who is sleeping in her feathers, and I thought that was so cute. And this definitely looks like Philo's bird form. So I love things that pretty much looked like they were directly from the anime. Another print that I purchased is of Tina from Bob's Burgers. And when I saw this hanging in the artist alley, I just, I just couldn't stay away from it. I had to purchase it. Even though it's not anime related or anything, I really do love this TV show. And I just love that this artist could even think of putting uh, Tina in kind of like a very well-known historical art piece. And something else that I purchased that is also from a historical art piece is this piece. I forgot 
what it's called, but it's um, it's kind of like from the art piece of when uh, God meets or uh, reaches out to Adam. And this one's pretty symbolic because everybody knows Saitama is extremely OP. And there's Genos, Adam, who's got, you know, he's got flaws too, but he's reaching out to Saitama, who he sees as God, who he totally admires, pretty much worships. Saitama and this print is actually of Kana from the Maid Dragons. She is my favorite lolly, my favorite dragon. She is so cute. And here she's eating a melon pond. She looks so cute. And there's a whole bunch of um, other desserts in the background to, uh, to fit her sweetness. And the last print that I purchased from the Artist Alley is kind of this Sankarea related one. It's actually an original character, but the reason I purchased it is, I don't know, it kind of, hmm, let's see, maybe because it blended with my background. I love the hydrangea. So, the last set of items I want to share are all from the dealer's room, which is pretty much my favorite room because it's so big. It's like a marketplace for us nerds. I love it so much. There's food there. Um, there's a whole bunch of merchandise from plushies, art, figurines. They have claw machines, they have cars that are uh, anime themed or like just kind of fandom themed. They're amazing. And the first thing that I want to share is actually a plush I got kind of from a plush booth. And this is my favorite Pokemon. I've always loved Celebi since watching, um, I believe it's called Pokemon Forever. I can't even remember when it was released, probably like 2004 or something. I'll correct myself. But yes, here is Celebi. She's authentic, coming all the way from Japan. She was the last one, and I think she is actually life-sized as well, if she were real. Art books are also very popular. And I purchased this one, and you could see there's velvet here from Tales of Rosaria. There's a lot of pretty artwork in here. Ugh. I wish I could show you guys more properly. Not that I draw, but I just love seeing all of this vividness and all of this up close. So much nostalgia. And it has a whole bunch of other tales in here too. This is Tales of Symphonia, which is the first Tales game that I played. And I was so glad to see a lot of um, familiar games in here. I love the Tales series. Usually these books are sold at the right price. I'm not sure about like other things like the plush or figurines, but usually the books, you can pretty much bet that you're purchasing them for the right price. And speaking of figurines, I purchased this one, this Asana one, years ago. I think about four years ago already. And I think this one actually increased in price. I purchased her for $85 back then. I believe it was $85. Usually I don't spend that much on one item, but Asana was my girl back then. And for the past few years-ish, my girl has been Mikasa, but I couldn't find her, so I just wanted to share a figurine that I purchased, and she's still in her original box, I've never opened her, and oh, I just wish that there were figurines that I really liked. Um, I was also looking for Demon Slayer ones, but Demon Slayer is just a bit too new for Otakon for um, manufacturers to make, and I think that's why they didn't have any, but hopefully next year there will be.
We have reached the end of our VATV Sunday program. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email us at VATVnews at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you have a great rest of your weekend.